Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Zek, and today I will show you how to create your very own Discord bot in Python. So let's jump right into the video. First off, we'll start in VS Code, and I've created three files here. We have a .env, which we will have with a Discord bot token variable. Uh, we will get this in a little bit. We also have bot.py, which is where most of our functionality will be. And then a main.py where we will run the program. So once you have that set up, go ahead and open up your Discord. And on the left side over here, there's a plus where it says add server. We'll go ahead and click on that. We will create our own server. And this server will just be for us to test. You can do this yourself or eventually put this in a, your own server that you have with lots of other people, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip this question and name it whatever you want. I'm naming this one Zectech server. Okay, and now that we have our server, we'll go ahead and go to this link of discord.com slash developers slash applications. And in here, we'll go ahead and click new application in the top right. So here we can go ahead and type the name of our application, whatever you want to name it. For this case, I'm just naming it ZechTechBot, and we will agree to Discord's terms and services, and we'll click create. All right, cool. And now we have our bot. Now we'll go ahead and set up the permissions for our bot to allow it to interact in our server. So first up, we'll go ahead and go to OAuth2 over here on the left side, and we'll go to general. And in here, we'll go ahead and go to default authorization link, and we'll change this to in-app authorization. And for here, you want to give it the bot scope. And so once you come down to this bot permission section, uh, you'll actually want to select the specific permissions that you want your bot to have. Uh, there's no need to give it permissions it doesn't need. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to put administrator. When you actually make your bot for your server, other than just testing it like I am, I would not recommend putting administrator. If someone were to take control of your bot and you have the administrator permissions on, then they can pretty much do anything in your server that they wish. Uh, but we'll go ahead and click save changes. And then we will go ahead and go on the left side over to URL generator. And in here, we make sure we select bot in these scopes. And then same thing here for bot permissions, you select the ones that you want, whatever you selected in the last one. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go with administrator. And down here, we have the link to bring it into our server. We can go ahead and copy it and paste it up into our search bar. And we'll go ahead and press enter. Now here we get a, a dialogue of our bot, and it's going to ask us which server we want to put it into. So I'll go ahead and bring it into the server we just created. And we'll hit continue authorize and you can select here the permissions that you would like to give it but for the purpose of this tutorial we're doing administrator and i am a human i think Zzz. all right and now that we've done that we can go ahead and open back up the discord and we can see that our bot has been successfully imported into this server and we can see on the right side it is offline over here so now that we have that we can go back over to the developer tab and we'll go into bot and then from here, you'll want to hit reset token and we'll hit yes, do it. And this will print out a token right here that we will need to copy and use later. Do not share this with anyone because if anyone gets access to it, then they can do whatever they want with your bot. So once you get that, we can go ahead and go to VS code, go into our .env file and paste it inside the discord bot token variable. Go ahead and zoom this in one more time. There we go. So we'll go ahead and bring up our terminal with control backtick or command backtick on Mac. And we'll go ahead and type pip install python dash dot env. So we can get this from the env file. I already have it installed, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but for you, it should download it. You will also need to install discord.py. And I already have this installed. But for you, go ahead and install it. And we'll go ahead and go over to our bot.py file. So we'll go ahead and import all of the packages that we need. We'll go ahead and import OS, Discord, from discord.ext, we'll import commands, and from .env, we'll import load.env to get that environment variable. So we'll go ahead and type load underscore .env with open and closed parentheses to get those environment variables loaded into our system. And we'll go ahead and say token equals os.getenv of our Discord bot token. For our bot, we'll need to have an intense variable set to discord.intense.default. This is pretty much a set of permissions for our bot. We don't need to worry about that for now as it's not important for this video. We just need to have the default intents as is required to create our bot in the code. So now we'll go ahead and create our bot with bot equals commands.bot. You have to pass it a command prefix and in this case, we'll just pass it with an exclamation point. 
and set intense equals to intense. So we'll go ahead and create an event for the bot. This will be a decorator that will wrap around our function that we will create. So we go ahead and type at bot.event async def on ready. So as soon as our bot is ready, this is the code that will run. And so this at bot.event will register an event for the bot to listen to. So here we have an event called on ready, as that's one of the events that the bot will listen to. So we'll go ahead and just print we logged in as our bot's name. So from here, we'll go ahead and type bot.run with our token passed into it. And if we go ahead and run our file, you can see that there are some logging statements, but we can see that right here, it says logged in as Zek Tech bot. So if we go back over to Discord, we can actually see that our bot is online, which is great. It means that we are connected. So now we have our bot connected. We'll go ahead and have it respond to some of our messages. So we'll go ahead and go back over to VS Code and we'll go ahead and press Control C or Command C on Mac to go ahead and stop the server. We'll go ahead and close this for now. And we're going to go ahead and add another at bot.event decorator. We will go ahead and create a function called on message, which will be an async function. And we pass in a message object to it. This will be any time a message is sent in the server, it'll run through this function. So the first thing we want to do that's very important is to make sure that the message coming in is not from the bot. Otherwise, there'll be an infinite loop and of infinite messages just going through the server. So we'll go ahead and do if message.author.bot to say if the author of this message is a bot, then we will go ahead and just return. But if it's not from a bot, we'll go ahead and await the message.channel.send, and this will send a message into the channel wherever this message came from. So in this case, we're saying hello back to it. So if we go ahead and run this, we can see our bot has been logged in. So we'll go over to Discord and we see our bot is online, which is great. Okay, there we go. We're going to zoom in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and type at Zectech bot and we'll say hello. And our bot says hello back to us. So that's cool, but we'll add some more functionality to this. So we'll go back over to VS Code. We'll go ahead and Control C or Command C on Mac. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this line and we'll go ahead and type user message equal to message.content.lower. This message.content will contain a string of the user ID followed by the message that they typed. So we can go ahead and say user message is equal to user message.split and we'll split at the first white space, which is this one right here. So after we do that, we will just get this second part of the array after it's been split. So we just get the message and we can do whatever we want with it. And something I forgot to mention is we actually need to add this await bot.process commands with our message passed in. This will allow all of the commands to be processed by our bot. And whenever you add your own on message function and you have your own logic inside, you should add this await bot.process commands of message. And we'll go ahead and set a response variable equal to an empty string. And we'll go ahead and say if our user message is equal to hello then we will say our response is equal to hello, and then we will mention the author of whoever sent the message. And then we'll type elif, our user message starts with the exclamation point ask, and we'll set our response equal to mentioning the author of the message and say, oh, that's a good question. And then for every other case that we don't have a specific functionality for, we'll just say our response is, I'm not sure how to answer that with a rocket ship emoji. So after we do that, we'll go ahead and await the message channel send with our response. So if we go ahead and run our bot and we can see we have successfully logged in. So we'll go ahead and head back over to Discord and we'll go ahead and type at Zectech bot and we'll say hello. And you can see he does say hello back to us. So we're going to say at Zectech bot. We'll do ask. We'll say what is two plus two? He says, oh, look, that's a good question. Cool. And then we'll go and do one more for our last case. So we'll say Zectech bot random gibberish. And he doesn't know how to answer that. So cool, but we're not done here. We'll go ahead and make this a little more modular for us. So down here at this bot.run, we will actually turn this into a function so we can call it in other files. So we will define a function called run discord bot with our bot.run. And we'll go ahead and head over into our main file. So in here, we'll say from bot import our run discord bot function. We'll go ahead and say if name is equal to main. 
and we'll go ahead and run our command. So here we'll go ahead and run the file. We can see we have successfully logged in. We go back over to Discord. We see we are online. Awesome. Let's make sure it works. And it does. So cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now you know how to make your own Discord bot and you can do virtually anything you want to do with it. Um, ideally, you would want to put this up on the cloud somewhere so it can always be running because running it on your computer 24-7 isn't the most ideal solution. And you can host this up on Google Cloud, DigitalOcean, or any other cloud hosting services. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and leave a comment if you found this helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.